What's up fellow devs? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can link your Leet code profile to a GitHub repository. Um, and what it's going to do is every time you submit a solution that is accepted on Leet code, it'll automatically push to your, your GitHub repo. And to do this, you'll want to go to Google and type in Leet Hub. This is going to be a Google Chrome extension, so you will be needing to use Google Chrome. And you can see it's the first result here, so go ahead and click on that. Um, I currently have it already installed. Let me go ahead and remove this so I can show you. So we'll just add it to Chrome. Click Add Extension. And we'll wait for this to go through real quick here. All right, so now what you want to do is go to your GitHub and log in. And you'll want to create a new repository. You could do that by clicking this blue rectangle button here. I already have one created, so I'm going to click on this to show you. Um, you can see already there's some solutions that have been submitted in here. Um, but once you have your repository created, you'll want to click on this top right of your browser. You see this little jigsaw puzzle looking thing, your extension. So click in there and find Leet Hub, which is the extension we just downloaded. And then it's going to ask you to authenticate with your GitHub, so click that. And then to get started, you'll choose an option here. You want to choose link an existing repository. And to do that, you'll just type in the name of the repository you just created. Mine was leak code. Click get started and you can see that it says it's successfully linked. And that should be it. Um, so now we'll go ahead and go to leak code and test it out. And I've already logged in. Um, actually, one important note. This is only going to work if you're using the old version of Leak Code. And to do that, you're going to want to click up here in the top right of your profile. And you don't see it here because I've already reverted to the old version. But above your sign out, there's going to be an option to say revert to the old version. You'll have to do that for this extension to work for whatever reason. But once you do that, we'll go ahead. I have a, a problem here that I've already solved, but I'm going to submit it. And once it's accepted, we'll go back to our GitHub repository and we'll refresh it and why does it say yesterday that's weird maybe I already I may have already submitted this problem so let me find another problem real quick that I haven't already submitted I'm just trying to find a random one somewhere in here here we go let's do this one this won't work if you've already submitted a like a solution to it, apparently. Um, let's look at my solution back here. Let's copy this code. Go back, paste this in. All right, so this was accepted. Let's go back to our GitHub repository and see if it's going to actually upload it. There it is. You can see our last commit is now. And if we click into this, you can see that it's the problem that we just solved. So, and there it is. So this is just a quick way to uh, get your GitHub commit activity kind of looking clean. Um, if you look at mine, mine's like a ghost town. I've been super busy at work. But you can see where I started using LeetHub is right here. It's getting commits every day. So if you do do Leet code daily, you might as well connect it to your, your GitHub as well. And that's it. So if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. I'll get back to you. And thanks for watching.